right, guys, we're out on Lake of the Ozarks today. Brought out my nitro. Finally got it running halfway decent, enough to get down here to a pretty good spot. So down a little cove, first stop of the day. Trying to catch some crappie or some white bass. Let's see what happens. Nope, there's the party boats. <laughs> Two of them. They'll turn. Oh, got one. Mm -hmm. Hey, decent, decent little bass. Yeah, first one with the seven foot ACC crappie stick. It ain't a crappie, but it handled the little bass well. Crappie. Yes. All right. That's what we've been looking for right there, and that's a nice one, too. Very nice. Big old crappie. First one in the boat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm keeping it. It's my first fish crappie with the boat. Ten incher. Alright. I've never used the live well, so I think I can open that. It starts letting water in. Yep, there it goes. And that will let water into the depth of the water outside the boat. Cool. Let's do that again. Bluegill. <laughs> I could tell by the way he smacked that. Got one. Another crappie. All right, we're starting to figure something out here. Another nice one. Got the grasshopper, wild willy bait, nice white crappie. It's a nice one. Okay, nine, nine and a half. Okay, so even if that's all I get, I'm going to do the blackened seasoning with them too, right there. All right, guys, we just got back, caught a couple crappie, a nice bass, a bunch of perch, uh, but come on with two crappie. That's real life. That's what happens sometimes. We don't always catch a limit, but I've been wanting to try this uh, recipe out, some blackened crappie, putting a little twist to it today. We're going to be cooking it on a rocket stove. Let me show you what this rocket stove is. If you haven't seen one or heard one, my father-in-law made this. He works and owns a heating and air conditioning company. He built this out of ductwork and uh, let's check it out. So this rocket stove is made out of ductwork. He bent, put together. There's just a 90 degree elbow in there and it takes real little sticks. That's my pile of sticks right there. And I'm gonna cook a meal just off that little bit of sticks. These rocket stoves are pretty awesome. A nice flame already coming out. Heat coming straight up out of here. We're going to use cast iron, 
some zatarans, blackening seasoning, half a stick of butter. And that's what we're going to put our four flays in and uh, cook it right here with this little rocket stove. Lots of heat coming up in there. Pretty awesome. Let's get to cooking. All right, we got the butter melted. As you can see, it's it's pretty warm. We're gonna get that piping hot before we drop these flays in there and uh, blackening them. It does not take long for this process. Down here, we're just continuing to push in our fuel to the fire, which is these little bitty sticks, and adding to it. You can hear the draft, it's pulling it up. There's actually a little gap, let me show you little gap under here that is creating a draft and uh, that heat's coming up and really getting to work on this pan we're about to add some plays here in a second let's drop a fly in there see what it sounds like real quick oh yeah Black Gave it a real good coating. She's cooking. We're just going to let it do just like the name. We'll let it blacken. We'll flip it over and let it cook that on that side a little bit too. been a few minutes starting to flip these nice and black still gonna sprinkle a little on this side man that's looking good all right guys that's looking done to me Look really good. There's nothing better than a crappie clay, really. That's fresh. Just caught a couple hours ago. Looks really good. I've never tried blackened. This will be my first time. But, uh, my buddy Danny Alexander told me. A great method of doing it. He said it's one of his favorites, so I figured if he liked it, I'll like it. It looks really good. We'll let it cool off and then we'll give it a try. That's the blackened seasoning that I used today. All right, we're going to try it. Falls right apart. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fly. pretty good it's real good I love the flavor of that blackening season I should have used more so if you use that cover it really good that's good look how they just peel apart I love the way they just peel apart. Really good flavor. Uh, you guys can make this at home with a cast iron pan. You don't have to have a rocket stove. I just want to add a little bit of a something you don't see. I don't think I've seen a video yet of someone cooking crappie on a rocket stove. So I love that little rocket stove. Like I said, my father-in-law, he made it for me. And uh, you just have to have little twigs and sticks of wood and you keep feeding that fire. And, and it'll heat up and it'll cook. It's got a lot of, a lot of heat coming up through there. So pretty neat. Um, if you guys try this, you might put a little bit more seasoning than what I did. 
um, or unless you don't like spicy, but uh, I do. I, right now it's fine, it ain't spicy at all or, or anything, but uh, I think you could put a little bit more and it come out just a little bit better, but try it as you go, see what you think. Try it and leave a comment, tell me if you liked it or how you like to do your crappie. Thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate it. God bless, be safe out there in the outdoors.